They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? You gotta have skills, you gotta have smarts, but most of all, you gotta have guts. Hello everyone, I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I am here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Now before we get to today's world championship competition, it's time to go to our referee more quick for an official gold medal update. Mo! Hey there, Mike. We're down to the final days of competition, and here's a look at the standings. Can Mexico regain a share of its first place, or will Israel and Spain issue a challenge? Let's get underway and find out. All right, in our first event, ladies and gentlemen, our players will be playing a little water polo global gut style, which is way above the pool. In Skyball, we're going to you, give you a little bionic bungee so you can soar way above. No water in the world can hold you down. That's right. You're going to grab ball. You're going to soar. You're going to fake right. You're going to shoot. Score. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, players will grab a ball and throw it into the goal opposite them. They will have 60 seconds to score as many goals as possible. The player with the most goals wins. On your mark, get set. All right, folks, so who will get out and get 300 points in our first event? We got a little sky ball happening. And in this event, you need endurance, control, and incredible accuracy. You see that bionic bungee. That's getting our players jumping up and down. The control is a very important factor. Now, just like skydivers, you can use the straps of their parachutes. You can pull down on that bungee to control the direction of your jumps. Now, we do have an individual judge for each player who will tally up the score and then give the results to Mo. But you see right there, Hagit having a little trouble getting it in. And there's Ugo with the shot, a little low. And as 20 seconds remain, it looks like our players right now Ugo with two, and that's Rosa, looks to have one. Hagit, again, a little too low. And our players, all craziness, Brady loose has one. Another one goes in for purple, that's Ugo. And the judges, as I said, will tally the scores, give the numbers to Mo, and she will give us the official results. Mo! In first place in Skyball, Ugo from Spain scoring four goals. In second place, Rosa from Mexico scoring one goal. In third place, Hagit from Israel with no score. I talked about the smart move being accuracy. Watch Rosa go up just off the top of the goal, missing the score on that and throwing off her scoring rhythm. But Ugo, look at this man, twisting his body and throwing the shot off. Great work for him. We got the lead. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. Well, Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Ugo from Spain. In second place with 200 points, Rosa from Mexico. In third place with 100 points, Hagit from Israel. And remember, folks, the player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And our players are about to face a ferocious basic training course. But first, let's meet a player who is hot on the trail of winning a world title from Israel, an athletic phenom, Hagit. Speedy, your own, spill your guts. Hello from Global Guts. I'm Hagit Yaron from Israel. I like all athletics, especially long jumping and sprinting. I'm very into music. My favorite bands are Nirvana and Pearl Jam. I brought this necklace with me because it gives me good luck. Here at Global Guts, I'm having fun and meeting people from other countries. How do you train 
a global army of guts athletes. Well, what we do is we take them to their gym for a brand, brand new basic training. First, our players are going to jam through Elastic Jungle. After they power their way up that, they're going to go up the wall, climb, and then march across Monkey Bridge. Try not to slip off of that. After that, they're going to go down the slide for life, flying on down and then dropping they got to then tear into the tire crawl, and after they make it through that black rubber, they're going to have to make it up the cargo net, powering their way down the pool slide into the pool to finish the race. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Players are timed from starting line to splashdown. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. So Hadith from Israel is up first. Her nickname is Speedy, and she got a quick start. Also, our players need to keep in mind in this event, speed and fearlessness. So Speedy is going to have to make use of her nickname, Speed. And then she just went across that monkey bridge faster than most players even walk, run across the floor, across the tire crawl. She's pouring herself through, and she's setting a great pace, defining her nickname right here. But up the cargo net, she's going to have to watch where her feet goes. So she doesn't slip off of that rope. And she's going to have to continue finishing the energy when she gets down the pool. So let's find out the official time for Mo. Mo. Hagit clocked in at 37.9 seconds. And next up is Rosa from Mexico. On your mark, get set. All right, folks. Well, her nickname is Lynx. And I ain't talking about sausage here. I'm talking a phenom feline. She's on the hunt for a piece of the rock. And in this event, she goes into it with 200 points. She's in second place. And this cat's ready to purr it on, if you know what I mean, folks. Down the slide for life. She's picking it up. Saying a little meow, meow. Give me the tire crawl. Want to eat that up? She's going to have to pull herself through that tire crawl. And really, we'll see what she can do up the cargo net. This is where Hagit had trouble. She's going to have to hustle. She's only got about two seconds. It doesn't look like she's going to beat Hagit's time. Let's go to Mo. Rosa clocked in at 40.6 seconds. Up next, we have Hugo. On your mark, get set. Hugo! His nickname's The Reactor. We'll set aside your plutonium platter. Yeah, yeah. Hugo says, yeah, you go, then I'll go, and I'll detonate a little atomic bunch. Look at this man. He's got these players' heads swirling, twirling, burning. The reactor react positively. No cargo net slowing him down. He wants a piece of the crack. Let's go to Mo. Hugo clocked in at 28 seconds even, which puts Hugo in first place. Hagit in second place and Rosa in third place. Hagit came from Israel to rock and roll her way to a piece of the rad rock, but she tired out in the tire crawl. Rolling out right here, she got cut in a little tire crawl traffic jam that slowed her time tremendously. It was all Ugo, the reactor, reacting to every challenge you could give this man. He's saying, I want another 300 feeds to beef up my score. Face plant in the pool. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard. Mo! Here it is. Ugo is still in the lead with 600 points and tied in second place with 300 points each. Rosa from Mexico and Hagit from Israel. All right, folks, we got a lot more action coming up. That's right. Paddle your way out. We got Hank 10 coming up and rugby, global gut style. We call it Scrumble. You stick around. Yeah, welcome back to Global Guts Nickelodeon's World Championship for Kids. And today's quest for the world title still up for grabs. We've got two events to go plus the crag. But right now, we're going to get to know an athletic dynamo from Mexico. Rosa Lynx Diaz, spill your guts. Hola, yo soy Rosa Diaz. Hi, I'm Rosa Diaz, and I'm from Mexico City. I like to play basketball and ride my bike. I especially like to swim because I feel free since I don't touch the bottom. These are some Mexican crafts. I brought them to show the rest of the world and to remind me of my country and my people. Woo! Imagine racing across. 
across the English Channel on a surfboard. Well, folks, in the Hang 10, we're going to bombard our athletes with some big-time breakers and some serious surgeon surf. Our player's going to try to make their way through the water. Let's go to Mo through the rules. Mo! At the sound of my whistle, players will have 30 seconds to collect as many buoys as possible. The player who collects the most wins. On your mark, get set. Okay, so Hagit, with 30 seconds to power her way through those waves and get as many of those buoys on her arms as she can. You see she's holding on to the board with her left hand and using one arm. Not balancing her weight and using both arms, that's really hurting her. She's not really moving through the pool very fast. And at 10 seconds, she only has one buoy and she's falling off the board. She needs good points in this event and it looks like right now, she's only gonna have a few buoys. Let's go to Mo for the official results, Mo. Hagi collected three buoys. And so let's see what Rosa can do as she gets her goggles on and situated. On your mark, get set. All right. And so with that whistle, she's going to really have to attack those waves and not let her get kicked off of that board. Our players needed tremendous coordination in this event. They've got to keep the body on the board and the arms pumping towards the next buoy. And also, as I said, fearlessness. You know, those waves are trying to roll over our players. You can't hesitate. You just got to say, I'm not afraid of the waves. I want another buoy. There it is. Give me one. You can see Rosa going for that last buoy in the corner. It's time is running out. Let's go to Mo. Rosa collected seven buoys. Ugo is going to get balanced on the board right now. We'll see what he can do. On your mark, get set. All right. And so there it is. Seven is the number to beat. Lucky seven, the magic number. Eight will be the magic number for this man. Perfect game on the line, and he already, already looks to have about four. Before half of the time is run out, he's trying to hold himself on the board, but he's not really using his legs. You see, as he's laying on the board, he's not using his legs. He's just letting the waves roll over him. And he only has six right now. Looks to be seven, but again, that is unofficial. As time runs out, he reaches for that last buoy. Will he have it? I don't know if he dropped that last one. Let's go to Mo for the official results, Mo. Hugo also collected seven buoys, which put Hugo from Spain and Rosa in Mexico in first place tied, and in third place is Agit from Israel. When you get in the guts pool, it's more than coordination and getting wet. It takes a lot of peripheral vision in this event, Hang 10. You see Rosa looking all over the pool saying, I want more buoys, I want first place points. I see that one, I'm going to grab hold, I want the points. Mo, let's go to the leaderboard. Hugo is still in the lead with 900 points. In second place is Rosa from Mexico with 600 points. In third place is Hagik from Israel with 400 points. Okay, folks, well, we have seen him surf, play water polo, and confront basic training. A world title, what he's after. Let's meet a Spaniard they call the reactor. Hugo Lopez, spill your guts. I'm Hugo from Madrid, Spain. I'm going to win. I'm the best. I like judo because ability and speed defeat brute force. I am the best. Just when we're competing, all I think about is defeating my rival. Time for a little rugby mobile gut style. It's called Scrumbo. Ladies and gentlemen, you're pushing, you're pulling, you're crawling, you're modeling, hopefully. You're scoring. Nope. At the sound of my whistle, players will have 60 seconds to grab as many loose rugby balls as possible. The player who collects the most wins. On your mark, get set. Perfect game on the line in this event. With 900 points, Hugo from Spain. Let's see what Hugo, where he goes. And that's Hagit. She scores one. In this event, quick decisions, efficiency, and power. Remember, folks, in Scrumble, you've got a power to push your pull your way to every loose ball because the other players will affect your motion by the way that they move. When you get on to those rugby balls, you got to get back there and decide to either throw it back or run it back. And with 23 seconds left, all of our players seem to be getting it in there as Hagit seems to have about five in there so far. She needs a good score. Continuing to push and pull away. Hagi with another one. She just turned around and was right there. 
But the story here, Ugo, with the perfect game on the line. Put another one in, he tosses that in. Scrambling for another, as time runs out. Throwing at the buzzer. And let's go to Mo. Tied in first place, collecting 10 rugby balls each. Hagit and Ugo, and in third place, collecting eight rugby balls, Rosa. We talked about decision making. Hagid needed a good finish in this one. She tied for first place because of her quick decision making skills. She picks it right up and decides, no, I'm not going back all the way. I'm going to throw it back right now, ladies and gentlemen. And a fantastic job. Another 300 points for Ugo from Spain. We talked to him yesterday during practice. Here's what he had to say. You got a little scrape in your face. What happened? Estaba en el hotel y salté de cabeza y me raspé la cara con el suelo. So you scraped it on the pool? Yes. And uh, the, your nickname is The Reactor? How'd you get that nickname? Well, wh why do they call you that? Nick, I am the fast. He's fast. He's fast. He's bilingual. Perfecto. Fast. Yeah, fast. fast. Rapido. Fast. Yeah, these guys got guts. Check out the leaderboard now, Mo. Still in the lead is Ugo from Spain with 1,200 points and now tied in second place with 700 points each. Rosa from Mexico and Hagit from Israel. All right, folks, forget Scramble. The crags ready to rock, roll, and rumble. That mountain right there. Who's going to put the flag at the top? We'll find out. Stick around. Israel, Mexico, Spain. Which country's player is about to conquer the crag? They've all given a maximum effort so far. And while they get psyched to conquer the crag, let me remind you that the points they have skyrocketed in this our final event. Third place being worth 375 points. Second place, 550. 725 first. Let's go to Mo, see where we stand. Mo. Here it is, Mike. After four events, Hugo, Hugo from Spain is in the lead with 1,200 points and tied in second place with 700 points each. Rosa from Mexico and Hagit from Israel. That is a look at where they stand. Now let's see how they got there. They started out in a little sky ball and going sky high. Rosa knocking one down. But taking first place was Uko. This guy was all over the place. Great aim. Rosa back on the monkey bridge. No monkeying around. She moved nicely across this. Good balance and down the slide for life. Great form. Nice work for her with a nice finish and basic training. And then right, boom, back into the pool for a little splashdown right there. We go into Hang 10 and hanging out on that board was Rosa picking up buoys. But another first place finish for Ugo, man. This guy, every event, first place points, packing those on. We come back with a little scrumble and a first place tie right here. Hucky jumping him right in there. Great work for her. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the competition is about to heat up because the Extreme Arena is pumping for this, our final event, the Super Agro Crag. First, there was the Agro Crag. Then it evolved into the Mega Crag. Now, it is the Super Agro Crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with new surprises and more obstacles than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks that are ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo up the ice wall. Don't slip because you're going straight through the falling sheet of snow protecting the crag peak. All the while, our players will be facing the sound and fury of a molten volcano that's ready to blow. You want some rules? Mo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. During their climb, our players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. So it all comes down to this, a perfect game on the line for Ugo all the way from Spain. A tie right now with 700 points for our other two players. And after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this last piece of work. Mo, let's kick this off. On your mark, get set. All right, we got some gold on the line. We got some silver on the line. 
But we got some bronze on the line, folks. We got a whole lot of pride. Three countries battling it out for a glowing piece of our awesome rock. And it looks like it's a tie all the way up as the rocks come tumbling down. As over on the left, blue. And purple on the right. It looks like blue. That's a geek from Israel going up. She locks in first. Who's going to be next? We got a perfect game. Looks to be ruined if it was official. Coming up. Oh! Right there. I don't know who locked in second. We'll go to Mo. Check out the official. Mo. In first place on the Super Agro Crag, Hagit from Israel. In second place, Rosa from Mexico. In third place, Ugo from Spain. Oh, people spreading about, spread around the victory today. Hagit, she heated up in Scrabble and the venomous vapors started to heat her up a little bit more, climbing to the top of the crag and taking home first. Rosa, take a little digger here, but nothing can stop our players. She continued to climb up the ice wall and came in and locked it in just in front of our perfect score up to that point. Ugo, let's go to Mo and check out our final leaderboard standings. Mo! Here they are, Mike. In third place today, Rosa from Mexico with 1,250 points. In second place, Hagit from Israel, 1,425 points. Our winner today, Ugo from Spain, 1,575 points. So three smiling global competitors, very deserving of their medals. In third place, receiving the bronze medal from Mexico with 1,250 points will be Rosa, smiling away. Hagin, she won the crag, she's from Israel with 1,425 points. She gets the silver medal. And the man of the hour, all the way from Spain, that's Hugo sticking his tongue out, saying, yeah, thumbs up. I want a glowing piece of the crag to take back to Spain. Little victory, you see him pointing to the flag and showing the extreme arena. We'll put his name on the crag. That glowing piece of rock, He'll bring back to Europe to show all. And now, ladies and gentlemen, these three global guts athletes will take a well-deserved victory lap around the extreme arena with their respective country flags surrounding them. Run it around! Global guts! Yet again, another great competition! This extreme arena crowd, look at this crowd's going crazy for these guys. Woo! These people came to play. They come from all over the world to take a shot and bring it home, a piece of the rock. And folks, they did it in high class and high style. Another great competition on guts. No ears, hands, or butts. These kids back here, they got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids.